Namaste dear friends. The topic of this video is how to communicate without violence. The point is when we communicate rather than coming from a place of strong emotions to really come and respond from a place of peace and love so how is that possible? Not to be triggered by these strong emotions which arise and pass away. When someone says something and that triggers certain emotions and feelings, rather than reacting right away, give yourself a moment to detach from what just arose and try to connect with your true self. And you may ask, how is that possible? There is a tool and that powerful tool is called the breath. The moment you notice something is arising like emotion or feeling, and that triggers a certain reaction, deepen your breath and start focusing on the breath. Deep inhale and deep exhale. You may even count your breath. Let's say the inhale can be for one, two, three, and you can try to deepen the exhale. So the idea is to really bring the, the attention to the present moment and that will calm your thoughts and eventually you will connect with that place within you where there is peace and harmony and love and a better solution will come to your mind rather than being aggressive in reply, respond in the same way that you were treated, you can simply come from a place of peace and love and say something that is more aligned with your true nature. And this is possible. It happened to me many times. And that's called mindfulness. How to communicate mindfully. It is simply by being present. Because we live in the present moment. We can change only things in this present moment. We create only in the present moment. Everything arises at this present moment. So if I'm fully aware, if I'm fully here right now, I know what to say and I know how to respond, how to respond. And I am able to see from a different perspective when the challenge arises. Instead of judging and blaming the other person for what that person said or did, I can simply detach and see beyond what's visible. Connect with the other person on a deep level, on a heart level. And I know that in that person, there is something special and unique. And when I'm coming from this place of peace and love, I see in the other one myself. I don't want to hurt myself, neither I want to hurt the other person. So coming from a place of peace and love and joy, I will never have a harmful thought. All I'm going to wish for the other person is the same, joy, peace and love. So that's why it is so important to be present and to be connected 
with who we truly are, with our divine nature. Deep within each one of us, there is something very powerful. In order to discover that beauty, in order to connect with the joy and love and peace within, we need to observe, be present, and be aware of what arises here and now. If someone says something and that triggers something in me, the problem is not in the other person. The problem is in me. So why am I reacting in that particular way? Because there is a certain part in me that is not healed. And this is a great opportunity to focus on myself and work on myself. This person was sent with a special purpose. So instead of judging and blaming and complaining, I can simply express gratitude to that tough person. Thank you for behaving in that particular way. Because of you, I was able to discover what I'm doing wrong with myself. And because of you, I was able to heal that part of myself. So this is how I personally prefer to look at these tough people and to look at the challenges that arise. If they're happening, it's because I'm ready to face them. And because they're a reminder what I need to work. On. And these people, these tough situations, they actually help me move forward. I step out of my comfort zone and I expand my consciousness and I learn more about myself and I discover who I truly am. I'm even more inspired and I have more to share. So when you communicate, observe yourself. It is not about the other, it's about you. Others can say and do whatever they want and we cannot change others. We can change only ourselves by observing ourselves. Eventually, people may get inspired by our actions and as a result, they may want to step out of their comfort zone and try something different. But first of all, the very first step is focus on your Self. Change yourself and then the world around you will change. You are worthy. You are special. You are talented. You can discover all of that through self-observation. Meditation is a very powerful tool that I highly recommend. Whenever you feel ready, give it a try. Even a few minutes per day will get you far. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching my video. We'll stay connected. I'm sending you my love, have a gorgeous, peaceful, full of love day.